guys, welcome to week four. And this week the topic is family systems and family business performance. Enjoy the it's video. For us. Welcome to Family Business, welcome to Regions in 2016. This is a very important course and I'm very excited to see what you're going to be doing today. Ed, say something good. I love your shades. Uh, I love this class. Um, I'm looking forward to contribute good things, um, like reflective, critical. No, I'm being honest. This is the best class. Last year's results focusing on the performance and the value of the family business. They are also taking into consideration the issues regarding the ownership and control of the firm. Two, two. I mean, I believe that the next step will be to put some of, of it into our pockets, bearing in mind that we will need to keep 10% of it in the company's treasury, since we will need it to reinvest it into the R&D department so that you guys will be able to benefit from it in the future years. Yes, then I understand, but it's been five years and I have shares in the family business, and I think it's time to distribute some of the profit so that I can start receiving some dividends. Remember, Dad, that now I have a family and kids to look after. Tom's salary is not enough to afford the lifestyle that we are used to. I need the money. Yes, Camila, I'm aware of this situation, and, and you will have a slice of the pie. But remember that we need to keep the company healthy and profitable, as, it, as I've always done, so that your children will be able one day to work in it. Dad, you know what I think about family business. I'm working in it for 10 years, and I'm beginning to believe that I need to start having much more responsibility in the company. I will be the CEO one day, and therefore I will feel I should start dealing with greater issues, rather than just commercial aspects. My salary is low compared to what I can earn, and I want to have greater authority and decisional power in the business. Listen to me, my beloved son. You will be the CEO one, one day. We as a family hold 100% of the company. Therefore, that's your destiny. No one else can take it away from you. Uh, you are the heir to all of this. But you have to remember one thing. Uh, our company has achieved the highest performances of the sector for, throughout the last generation, and we need to keep it working this way. It is full of companies out there where CEOs distribute themselves huge bonuses and salaries, and in most cases what I've seen is that in the long run they are going bankrupt. They might not care, and find a new company wish to work. But this will never have to be our case. Our company holds our name, and we shall always be proud of this, and not having to feel ashamed by it. The family's well-being is our priority. The company is a mean to retain wealth, but we need to keep it safe in order to be profitable. End up seeing what so the settings is in the boardroom where Harry, Kate, and Elizabeth are having a meeting on last year's results. Same, same family, right? Yeah. Same family with different members. No, 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 that's it. No. First scene with the family members talking about the family firm. Okay. Second scene is the CEO, the consultant, and the a manager yeah. of a non family business. And they're not family. No. Not family. Okay, okay. Um, sorry. So, um, yeah, when Harry, Kate, and Elizabeth are having a meeting, meeting on about last year's results regarding uh, performance, value of business of which they work for. Do you sorry, just. Hi, hi. Shall we sit down? Sure. Morning. Hello. Happy to see you. So, my dear colleagues, I'm very proud for the results that we have obtained. The last year, we set the goals to produce a 10% more and increase the volume of sold goods. All the professional targets have been reached. Therefore, you will be happy to know that all managers will receive a 30% bonus on their salary. And me, obviously, as the CEO, I'm going to receive a 50% bonus. Uh, we will emit also some new shares to distribute among our employees. We've worked really hard to achieve these great results. And even if we had to reduce the profit margin of the company, we 
so we still managed to fit them into all these parameters. This means that our market shares have increased and our competitors have seen theirs decrease, which is great for all of us. We shall be happy now since our employees will receive, will receive extra and feel more motivated by becoming owners of the company that they work in. That's always a great thing. The target for the next year will, will be to increase our market shares for another 10%. And by continuing, continuing like this, we will all be very rich soon. I'm very happy that our strategy has worked out, and I will for sure receive a promotion because of the great effort that we managed to make by working together. However, being your consultant, I have to warn you that if the margin of profit will continue to decrease, with increasing marketing costs, uh, it is likely that you will have loss in 2022. Don't worry, my fellow colleague. We will have all the time to set things up again. What's important is to continue acquiring market shares. Once our competitors will go bankrupt, since they won't be able to keep our pace, we will increase the prices again. In the meantime, we will have made many millions. You're so Each. right, Harry. You're so right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll see you soon.